All right, YouTube. So for today's video, I'm going to uh, attempt to get online with this 1977 pet using dial-up service, uh, an acoustic coupler, and a BBS. So I'm going to um, be logging into the Hidden Reef BBS, uh, and um, I'll show you how this, this works. This is an 8 kilobyte system. It's the first uh, computer um, in the pet line, uh, the 2001-8. This is the 77 model. It's a very early version of the computer. And just to give you a sense of how this is wired up, um, the pet term program that I'm using here, which you can download um, online if you search for it, uses it takes makes use of the user port because the uh, Commodore Pet doesn't have a serial port, so it's it's um, sending signals through the user port and and receiving them. Uh, I've got this hooked up to a level shifter, and the level shifter is powered by the cassette port uh, via five volts uh, and ground. That goes here to the. DB25 connector on the coupler. And I've got my phone hooked up uh, using an OB200 uh, voice over IP solution. So um, that's how I'm able to actually pull this off. Once I get this started, I will not be able to speak because if I talk too loud, the um, it'll interfere with the, with, uh, with the system. So um, these are really finicky, they respond uh, poorly to loud noises. I'm, I'm still working out the kinks in this. I've gotten a lot better than it was when it first uh, started. So you should be able to see me log into the BBS and um, you know post a message. So first off, we turn on the computer. Now rewind my tape, which has the terminal program on it. I'm going to load that tape. This takes about 30 seconds. It's a small program. It took me forever to get my hands on one of these old bell phones. Uh, I didn't want to spend money on it. I figured there's got to be a bell phone like this just somewhere in the neighborhood. And um, sure enough, posted next door and asked uh, if any neighbors were willing to give up their old bell phone. And sure enough, um, somebody had one. So I was able to pick that up for free. And the, the coupler actually showed up in a bunch of with a bunch of other Apple II equipment that I purchased recently. And I just couldn't resist um, trying this. Uh, this experiment out. A lot of uh, thanks to uh, Chuck uh, Hutchins and uh, the Commodore forums uh, who helped me uh, kind of work out some of the issues with the um, level shifter. We had a, an issue where the level shifter uh, and the modem weren't talking to each other um, because uh, of the RTS signal, but that's uh, not as super interesting, so I'm not going to talk about that here. So we, um, with this particular computer, you want it in mixed case and you want it uh, inverse because these are the original ROMs. And uh, we'll press enter. You'll see nothing on the screen for a minute. And here's where I go a little bit quiet. Make sure that's seated pretty well. And you press. Redial.
So there you go. I'm logging into the BBS. Uh, you can see, um, we can check my mail. Um, I'll go ahead and look at the bulletin board. We won't pause between messages. So we'll go ahead and choose Bulletin. Amazing. So that's what it was like to get online in nineteen seventy eight, at least in some parts of the world. And while you can see that it is occasionally dropping characters, it's relatively reliable. Uh, and I can write messages. Occasionally I need to backspace or... Um, yep, yeah, so I'm going to do something to correct. Thing I've written, but for the most part, it's pretty pretty good. And, and as you can see, I I can speak, just not too loudly. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that this particular bulletin board would have games, but the game doorway is closed. So I think if I press games, this is what comes up. Anyway, Oops. that's a BBS for you. You know, you could send messages, leave messages for the community, upload and download files. This particular um, bulletin board is for TI and IBM users, so I, there's nothing here in the uploads or downloads that I could make use of, um, not in this system. I'm not even sure could download anything because uh, where I don't know maybe I could save something to cassette but I'm not even sure it would let me do that so anyway uh, I'm gonna log out has that wonderful little modem sound and that is what it was like to call into a BBS over an acoustic coupler on a 77 pet. Uh, I'm going to say suggest that this is one of the oldest computers that's been online this year, if you want to call that the internet. But I'll go ahead and say it's computer-to-computer -computer communication, which is pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.